Hey guys, welcome to another skins tutorial. Today we're going to do the Joker 2.0. This is the picture. This is the image that I found to do my stencil with. And here are the different cutouts and shapes that I'm using for the stencil, painting it on an XO1 body. This was the most difficult part was doing the letters and sticking them in the body. Why so serious was not that difficult. Also a stencil that I did in my computer. I'm doing uh, a quick change green and purple for some highlights on this body. Uh, going from the front to the back so when the black hits it, it gives you a nice uh, color variation. Um, I also did a splatter with red for blood. This Joker is real bloody. So, of course, when a black hits it, you know, you get these nice uh, splatters. Gives you some texture in this body. Um, I also splattered uh, the Why So Serious once I peeled it out and I backed it in white. So, you have these contrasts of the white with the blood and the black with the blood. Now, this is the hardest part, peeling out all of these letters uh, on the front end. It took me about 35 minutes to get them all out. Uh, but you know, this was the most difficult part of the entire job. Now I'm outlining the jawline and the hairline for the Joker. Uh, and you already see some depth. I'm doing the eyes. They seem to be the most intense on this particular item. Uh, now the mouth. And I'm using a uh, transparent red. Actually, I'm using the uh, illustrated red. It seems to be a, a lot brighter. Uh, and uh, comes off you know, really, really nicely. Uh, I did the highlights around the eyes and the nose and the hair, the wrinkles in the forehead, and I'm backing some of the highlighted areas in the white and also shadowing several of the areas with the black. Okay, so I'm pretty much done at this point. Um, I think it came out pretty good. Uh, of course, this was the first try with this, and um, what I'll end up doing next time is probably doing a, a larger scale so I can actually add a little bit more detail. But um, the overall effect is there. You can, you know, you can see it. It's it's something that you don't see very often painted on RC bodies uh, unless somebody's dipping. Uh, but airbrushing 100% paint, you don't see this. And uh, that's what I'm all about. I'm about pushing, airbrushing on RC bodies as far as I possibly can. Doing stuff that when people see it, they, they know it's my work because they know not many people are going to push for this type of work on an RC body and actually get the results that they want. So if you have any questions as far as PSI, uh, the paints I used, uh, time frame, uh, figuring out how to set this up so you can get it done, feel free to uh, leave me a message in the comments. Ask me questions. Come and visit me on my Facebook page. It's all about uh, how to paint RC bodies, tricks and tips. And uh, that Facebook page information is coming up right now. Thanks for watching.